Okay guys, so Escape from Edinburgh Part 2 just got featured, so we're going to show you how to play it today. Quite difficult, it does get like laggy at some parts, and for me, like the first time I tried it, it froze quite a lot, my game. So, this is spawn area, you can read the signs, make sure you hit all the blocks, the runes, you've got to collect four runes. Just read that quickly. And we've got to collect, four, you can pause that on there if you want to read it. And we've got to collect four runes, or hit them, so you can unlock the, like, the gate. So the first thing you can do is you can come left first straight away and come to your first little puzzle area out of four. You know, it's more open again, you can walk through. It's a bit of parkour here, if I remember. Hopefully it doesn't freeze it because there is some bits that are kind of a bit laggy, it's kind of annoying, but it's what it is. And this you can just jump this bit. Move on to the next bit. Hopefully you don't get lag spikes as well, which I sometimes got. That wasn't too bad. Keep coming through, it's pretty simple parkour. But can get difficult. But so far so good. Grab the checkpoint. This jump pretty difficult. There we go. Oh, this is gonna get kinda hard. It does get a bit hard here. Oh and he messed up. Go on the end, always jump right at the edge. If you do that you should be good. Same again for that one. Same going for this one. And jump up. So it's you start spraying staircase leading up. That's the staircase. We won't go up there yet. You're gonna continue your climb first. You're gonna do this parkour. This jump's pretty difficult. Not this one here. This one's really difficult. But you're gonna strafe it. You don't wanna just do a normal jump like I've been doing before. Come up here. Till we get to here. When you get to here, what you wanna do is got this rock. Crouch there. Little strafe around there. Jump up on this little like um, big like rock here. This does get lack of this jump. Just keep trying it and you'll get it. But it is pretty annoying. This jump right here, you will struggle with it. There you go. Just give it a few tries. And you got your first little rune. So we can do is hit it, and you're here. An explosion going off, which you know you are doing the right thing. And it says, "No explosion, you rune. Go back to stairs." That I was talking about earlier. So just drop down. Back down to here. So you want to go up these stairs. First time you don't actually want to go up them. And it'll be open this time. Before there's like wooden planks that are blocking it. And this is you're back to spawn. So this will... So yeah, you're back to spawn here. And you want to go to your next level. So you've just done that one there. So the next one, you want to do is run through the middle. Hopefully I remember where to go. So yeah, run through the middle here. And then you want to go straight forward. To you can walk through this waterfall right there, which I'm about to do in a second, to try and get your second rune. So you keep coming through. Come through, as you can see, you can get through. Come to an area hidden. Drop down here. You look around, and you want to come to the left bit here. Okay, the puzzle numbers. You got to do five numbers. They're actually up there. So two, four, five, three, one. So you want to go two, four, five, three, one. So you want to two, four, five, three, one. That should unlock the next bit, which should be as you hear the noise, unlocks that bit area here. These do get kind of glitchy sometimes. What I'm doing right now, but other than that, you should be fine. So you want to do? You want to do this? That should unlock this, hopefully. There you go. Then you want to do this one. Then what you want to do is you want to hit this one here. And then you want to come back. You want to come all the way back. Then you want to hit this one right here. There you go. It's pre water, I guess. Obviously, do the same again. It should work this time. Oh, if, if not, then it's just a case of keep. There we go. There you go. It works there. So make sure you do in that order. And hit this bit. Hit that little rune. You hear a noise going. And then you want to hit this one. Should it should be unlocked, but if not, just hit this one. It should go. Come back through to the center bit. T 
you get to here. Here you want to turn right and you get your next rune, oh your next yeah, rune I guess. So that's two out of four. Make sure you hit it so you hear explosion. That's when you know it works. Go up the steps. Go back to the main bit. Keep coming up. There you go. That's that bit done. Come back through the waterfall. I can move on to the next rune, I guess. So the next rune you want to come straight to the left, go up the steps. There we go, just keep going up. And you want to go, the le uh, you want to go left when you go up the steps to the next set of steps. And then go up again. And then up again, guys. So two out of four done so far we complete the map there we go and you can see we keep running forward and your next one's just up there about 100 meters away maybe more so we keep going forward and I'll leave the last like the last one's probably the glitchiest one so I'll leave that one to last because it could like ruin your whole map maybe depending because I know the first time I did it that was the first one I'd done and like every like five minutes of this map it froze for like a good minute so I don't know if it's that on everything or just on console or something or PS4 or my game so I wouldn't actually know so this one's just here you come across a break in the room when you get back to this bit or when you get to come to this bit you want to drop down onto the bouncers and you'll go to this next platform it should be, it should be spawn pads don't really work in this map I don't know if it's just me or if it's you guys as well but these are pads by the way guys, so you want to pad up to this next one. You want to pad from this one to one I just looked at. Over here, you should make it hopefully. You want to pad onto this platform, and there'll be a bouncer there. Should be a bouncer here as well. Then from the bouncer you want to go down to this one. There we go. Just about made that. That's very close. From here. You can go to the end of the ravine. You can see the platform there, about to mark. You want to go through that, and it should be your third rune out of four. And you can move on to the final one, so make sure you hit this one. The explosion should be open somewhere. Behind us, there we go. <laughs> and it is, in fact, another pad. Hit this pad. From here, try to look for the other one, but if you don't find it, we can find it soon. As you can see, that's our opening there, so we need one more rune. So hopefully I can find it quick. I don't actually remember where it is, so we'll quickly look for it. But I know it's around up here somewhere, so we're going to go around here. Come on, these steps. Things around here somewhere. I know it's either on the left side here or it's to this over here, this side. I think that is it there, in fact. Actually, that's the start there. So we'll, we'll quickly go to the start and find our way again. But it's kind of difficult to find, it's quite a big little map. Big little map. <laughs> Quite a very big map, in fact. But hopefully, I can remember where it is. Oh, is that a bit, a bit embarrassing? <laughs> we'll drop down here quickly. So, anyway, like I said, that's the main gate there. So, I think you got to go left of the main gate. I hope, anyway. You can see I'm sucking at lag spikes now. Okay, this is it guys. So you wanna go left actually of the main gate. You go to a narrow staircase, you choose to investigate. This is actually it, so yeah, you wanna go left of the main gate and obviously left of spawn instead of right. 
drop down here. Grab the spawn pads. Spawn pads don't work, like I said. Hopefully, when I when I first tried this, I didn't actually die on this bit. But there's a lot of parkour you gotta do, guys. Like a lot. But yeah, let's do a bit of parkour. As you can see, I died there. But I don't think I'll spawn next to it. If so, then that's good. Okay. Luckily, I did spawn here. Sometimes the spawn pads don't work. Quickly give that another go. That, that jump here is probably the hardest. In my opinion. There we go. Luckily, we got the spawn pad. Before, when I died, I had to completely reset. But we're still going on. A few more jumps till the end. Luckily, we got our spawn pad there. Keep going forward. This jump looks a lot harder, further than it actually is. There we go. More strafe jumps. Jump to this little rock. Come through. See where it leads. Down here, but we've got to do more like barriers. This bit does get kind of glitchy, I think. I'm not sure if I do it right soon. Okay guys, for that, all you want to do is hit the first one like I did, then hit that bottom left one, and you can see it turns it off, then hit the top right one, then you can walk through. That is literally, you only have got to hit three. It's not actually that difficult, but I made it look way difficult than it was. It took me a while as well. Okay guys, for the next one, what you're going to do here is just want to hit every single... You don't want to go down there, down there. You want to come up here. Just forget about zombies. Blow this up. Make this jump. There we go. And that should open up one off the entrances. It should be the one under us. Which is not. Oh, it's one here. Down here. we will come through this bit. Make sure you always hit red pads. Because you need to hit about five or six. Hit that. Zombies kind of annoying. As you see, that one just went. So what we can do is hit this one. You like to hit, hit all the always hit the red pads, and of course hit the um button. Come up here. Then you yeah, see that one just unlocked. So when you open one, unlocks the other one, and so on. So hit the red bit. Hit this. I can see that one just unlocked. This is the second to last one. Hit that, and then hit this. Like that one should unlock now, which it has. Then that will be the final one for the dragon head to blow up. Should be the final one, hopefully. There you go. You can see the dragon head to blow up. You can walk through to the final rune. That's four out of four done, so we nearly complete the map. Well, we pretty much have completed the map. Blow that up. Come up to depth. Where it might like, hopefully not. Keep coming through, and we come out to here. Then you'll go to the final bit, which is obviously the middle, where you can actually have to walk through. So we do, I think, is jump down here. And hopefully, it should be to the left somewhere. Here it is, guys. This is the final bit. Actually, there is a death barrier there, but you can actually walk through that. It's glitched. But once you, if you do all the four runes, then you are free to go pretty much. So we should be able to walk through this one, hopefully, which we have done. And that is literally it. The end is right there, the puzzle piece. So if this video helped you out in any way, guys, please subscribe to the channel and like this video. If you like this video, it helps me out more than you think. And that is it, guys. Hope you, yeah, like I said, I hope it helped. It does get glitching areas, but that is it, guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.